Welcome to my office. I've filmed a couple of videos in here, but if I'm being totally honest, lately it's my most hated room in my entire house. Which it should not be that way, seeing as it's the room I also spend the most time in. So it's it's uh it's it's very messy right now. This is actually also the clean version. I spent a lot of time cleaning up and organizing and it still is this much of a mess. This right here is my original filming corner. You may actually recognize this and the floating shelves um, with a dog toy that's been absolutely murdered. This used to be a unicorn. Uh, now it's just sad. And this is a bookshelf from Walmart that's literally caving in on itself, so this has to go. And I already have a new piece of furniture which I'm building today to replace this. This over here is kind of the heart of my office. I have this lovely L-shaped desk. It's probably not going to change much. I've thought of moving it around the room, but I think it's just going to stay here. It's the most logical spot for the desk to be. This part of the office is a mess. It's just this is literally nothing but filming stuff. Uh, this might stay the way it is, but make it more organized. I don't know why I have a hoo hoop in my office. I don't know. Then we have this corner. This is actually a futon. Normally it's butted up against the wall, but I pulled it out because I was watching my husband play video games because his desk is right there. So behind this door is my husband's desk. <laughs> So this is where things get a little tricky because it's not just me in this office, it's also my husband. We have very different tastes in de decor, aka I have taste and he doesn't care whatsoever and is messy. So I am trying to organize this, make it more pleasing to the eye, remove some stuff. Like this is all of my like 5k half marathon like stuff. These are all the medals that I've gotten from all the runs that I've done. I'm actually going to move that into the basement where my Peloton is and that'll be like my workout space rather than having it hang in my office. What I also hate about this room, and it's not too bad right now, but at night when, you know, there's no daylight coming in, it's very yellow in here and I have a feeling that has to do with the light bulbs. So I'm actually going to try out different light bulbs to see if I can get a whiter light in here. And if that doesn't do enough, I might try to add in additional like lights, like maybe fairy lights or LED lights on the ceiling. I don't know. I just know that I want it to be brighter in here and feel more inviting because right now it just feels very drab. Like this color purple is like a dusty purple, but with the lighting, it feels dirty, if that makes any sense. Like the yellow lighting makes it feel like the walls need to be washed or something. So at the time of filming this, it's like March 2nd and I'm officially starting the little office makeover. I have a feeling this is going to take a while and it's going to be done slowly. Um, so today's project is building the new piece of furniture that's going in this corner of the room where I'm going to put my printer, I'm going to have a ton of more storage, and I'm super excited about it. We're going to ditch the old bookshelf that's literally caving in on itself. But I also know that there's probably going to be some other stuff that I'm going to be slowly adding to the room to do a makeover. So this is a makeover video. You For you guys, it's going to be quick. For me, it's probably going to last a couple months, maybe. I don't know. I've been meaning to do this for a long time, though. I forgot to tell you guys about this situation. So this is our internet in both of our computers. Mine is there. Phil's is there. Both of our computers are rigged up to it with an Ethernet cable, not Wi-Fi. And <laughs> these cords are just sitting here. My, the one going to my desk is pretty easy to hide, but the one going to my husband's desk actually goes through the doorway. So once we get rid of this and put in the new piece of furniture, we're going to put that inside the piece of furniture, and then my husband is going to tuck this in between the carpet and, like, the wall? I don't know. It's his job. That's all I know.
Apologies for the terrible lighting. The sun has gone down because it's winter and it gets dark at 4.30 p.m. And um, I don't feel like getting my fancy filming lights out. But it's been a while since I last recorded for this video. Want to know how, how long it's been? Long enough for me to develop this. <laughs> I am just about 36 weeks pregnant. Um, I actually started this office makeover because I knew I was going to be getting pregnant soon and I wanted to make sure that the office was a sanctuary for me, a place where I could really focus on work and it was supposed to be a room that I really loved. Um, that's still needed. <laughs> I just had to direct my energy elsewhere for the past couple of months, uh, you know, cleaning up other parts of the house and getting the nursery ready. But now that that's done, I can use the last bit of energy I have to finish this. <laughs> so some things have happened since I last talked to you, namely this corner. So that black bookshelf used to be in the basement. I brought it upstairs. Uh, also in this corner used to be a couch futon thing. That's actually now in the nursery because I, I wanted to make it so if, you know, me or my husband need to sleep in the nursery, we could. And it's also just seating. This little chair actually used to be over by my bookshelf, but I brought it in here because by my bookshelf now is a rocking chair for little baby. And then the other biggest update is the lighting in this room. It doesn't look good right now because I haven't bothered to make it look good, but it used to be regular light bulbs that were more of a warm light. I actually changed them out to white light bulbs. And they were so bright that this ceiling fan that you can't see, uh, normally you would put in four light bulbs. They were so freakishly bright that there's only two <laughs> because that is all that is needed for this room which is probably why when I stand here it doesn't look quite as good because that's where the light bulbs are unscrewed but it does make when I do film sitting at my desk a lot easier and the lighting way better but for the rest of the room it's still not great. But we're jumping back into this, so let me tell you where we left off and what we're going to do now. So that wall right there, currently blank, I bought a bunch of picture frames, and for those of you who don't know, I spent a couple years hiking in New Hampshire to hike the New Hampshire 4,000 footer list. When you complete the list, you get a little certificate. So I'm framing my certificate, and I also printed out photos of my hiking adventures and we're going to create a little collage in that corner <laughs> dedicated to hiking because um, I miss hiking and just standing in general where it didn't hurt my back. For my desk over here we're just going to generally organize it and like sort things out a bit. And then same goes for this area. I think I'm going to take down the mandala. I believe that's what it's called. I think we're kind of through that and don't need it anymore and just make things less messy in general but yeah so we're just looking for clean organized and things are somewhat easy to find
welcome to my new office. So my little office makeover is officially done and I'm also no longer pregnant. I actually have a three month old daughter who just went down for her nap. So <laughs> we're gonna see how long the nap lasts. They're usually about 40 minutes on the dot. So let's get started. We'll start off the tour over here. I have my floating bookshelves. I have my latest book, The Trail to You and Me, my debut novel, and then my other two older novels. And then um, Meet Me at the Summit, just cause I don't know, I'm playing favorites, I guess. <laughs> and then we just have some decorative elements. Uh, like a little moss ball, uh, some macrame, a sign, this little lantern. I actually bought this for my daughter to go in her nursery. But then after thinking about it, I'm like, mm, it's pointy, kind of sharp. I'll put it in my office, and honestly, I love it there. Then I have my little simple printer. Honestly, all I do is use it to print out receipts when it comes to taxes. And then this piece of furniture has been game-changing. Uh, because this first cabinet is just like our internet and cables and where I go to charge everything and then I can close it and then the second cabinet honestly is mostly paper and envelopes and file boring things. And then over here is kind of my shipping center so I have my sticker store Stone Ridge stickers I recently moved it from being on Shopify to being on Etsy so you can shop on Etsy now I wanted to pare down and since postpartum I won't be able to keep up with sticker orders quite as much so I sell mostly just writing stickers so word track stickers editing stickers a few decorative stickers if I remember correctly like I have some NaNoWriMo and Preptober stickers so uh, if you're watching this video, it means my store is officially open again. I closed it for maternity leave, but I'm back in shipping orders again. And this is where I ship from. So these are the shipping envelopes. This is my inventory, which I currently need to restock on. My plastic sleeves to make sure that things don't get damaged in shipping. And then a backing card to, again, make sure things don't get damaged during shipping. And then below that is all just like shipping supplies and a few other miscellaneous things. Um, and this is a random filming light that I don't really use anymore, but I don't want to throw away. We have a photo I took while I was in Iceland and then um, some hanging plants, but they're felt succulents because I don't have to water them. Now this over here is my desk. Admittedly, I don't sit at my desk super often right now. It's only on Fridays where my mom is watching my little one that I come into the office. Otherwise, I just work on my laptop because survival. But this is my desk. It's an L-shaped desk, so there's a ton of drawers. Like, there's little drawers here. There's this drawer that I added that has my um, drawing pad for when I do cover design and then I keep the pen in there too. There's other compartments in here but honestly I just use this to store my drawing pad. Um, some drawers, storage, honestly nothing to write home about. It's If you open these drawers they're full of junk. Um, the desk itself so this is a dual monitor. I love having dual monitor. It's game changer. Blue light blockers. My keyboard. This keyboard in particular is actually washable, which is why I like it so much because I'm a mess. And most of all, this is a desk riser, so I can use the standing feature. Have I used it since I've given birth? No. Will I use it? I don't know, but it's here. So it goes higher as well, but I'm going to put it back down. Uh, and then in the corner here, this is my shipping label printer. So when I ship orders, I print it here and then walk or just roll on my desk a little bit over to the shipping area. And then we have what I like to call my favorite corner of the room now. We have my little chair, which just, I like the color of it. It's a pop of color in the room, and it looks comfy. Do I sit in it often? No, but it's there. <laughs> and then my wall of photos from when I completed the 4,000 footers of New Hampshire. And then I also have my certificate that, you know, says I completed it, so yay. Uh, and then my just little shelf with inventory of extra books, just some random books. This is all just notebooks. Um, washi tape 
and you know everything else and then all the cubes down there is honestly uh filming stuff so like lights tripods other random things mostly i i've gone through a lot of different filming lights over the years um <laughs> and I just hoard them. Even if I don't like them, I still keep them. And then this over here is my husband's desk because I share the office with him. He also has dual monitors. They also curve. He's a gamer, so yeah. Um, this is the cleanest his desk has ever, ever been. It will be the cleanest it will probably ever be. And yeah, it's not much, but it, it makes him happy, and I'm just happy that it's not as a mess as it used to be. <laughs> so that was my somewhat quick office tour. I honestly love the space, and it does feel like a little sanctuary, which that was the goal, was I wanted to make sure my office felt a little bit like a sanctuary, so when I'm not, you know, with my daughter, I can actually focus on work. Um, so I come here during nap times and I come here when my mom is watching her and I can just kind of tune into work again, which is really nice. Am I in here often? No. Uh, but hopefully, you know, as she gets older, more independent, maybe we'll be in here more often. But my goal is to be really focusing on her, especially when she's so little. That's going to be it for this video. If you want to shop writing stickers, again, my sticker store is reopened and ready to be shipping. Um, so I will leave the store linked down below or, you know, it's right on the screen here. Otherwise, I will hope you... Otherwise, I'll see you all in the next video.